What's up? I'm Bandit Barney. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to be become stronger than every other player you play against in RDR2 Online. This tip is going to give you an edge in every free roam event over other players. Now we did a tips video yesterday that one of the tips kind of touched on this. If you want to see that, the link will be in the description. But for now, what we're going to be doing is there's three things we want to collect. Mint, oregano, and thyme. Now, for the mint and oregano, there's actually a collection place where you can go. It's right over here uh, to the west of the Heartlands, okay? Um, we're in New Haven, right here south of Valentine. And there's this area kind of by the river where if we pull open our eagle eye, we're going to see a bunch of things around us. Now, I think this is boi boilet. How do you say that? That's not what we're looking for, but right over here should be some... There, I saw some mint here a second ago. Here's oregano. So we want to get this oregano, okay? And uh, grab as much as you can. One, you're going to be getting an award for grabbing these um, herbs. And two, we need to max out your stacks in your inventory. Grab them. And what you can do is reload the area. But this is a good area because instead of reloading right away, if we go closer to the river, we can see over here there's some more um, herbs. And these are mint so we're gonna pick these up as well as soon as you get the stacks just re reload your lobby don't go in rotations where you ride around collect the thyme as well because the thyme is up by valentine and it's a little bit right away what you want to do is just reload free roam and get a full stack of this mint and oregano and then you're ready to go but for the sake of showing you what we're going to be doing we're going to go up to valentine and i'll show you where you can get the thyme over there so we're up by valentine and i'll pull out the map so you can see exactly where this thyme is going to be just southeast of valentine there's a little area in here between a, a road and the railway and if you walk over here there's going to be blueberries um i think another thing and then thyme spawns here as well pull open our eagle eye as long as no one else has been in the area and it looks like they haven't been so right here, let's see. Yep, this looks like thyme. So we can get, <coughs> excuse me, we can get creeping thyme right here. Now, what you want to do is, like I said, get the full stacks of each of these. Just reload into free roam and get the full stacks. The other area is nice because you can get the mint and oregano. But when you have full stacks, we're going to go get big game meat. Now, something I talked about yesterday was that the best way to keep your cores Goal is to hunt your meat and then cook it over a fire and that makes your cores that'll heal your cores more than anything and it's the cheapest way of doing it well if you can you can actually season the meat so if you collect these things and then you get your meat you can season it when you craft it and then instead of cooking plain big game or play plain venison you cook thyme venison or thyme big game and when you cook thyme uh, venison or any other meat besides big game what it's gonna do is it's just gonna increase the core value that that meat g g will give you so I think uh, thyme is for dead eye oregano is for health and I think mint is for stamina or mint is for health sorry and oregano is for stamina it's just gonna increase that uh, core amount that it gives you which is not super helpful but if we go get big game meat and we season it with thyme, mint, or oregano. In that respective core, we'll get a gold core for an entire day. Now, if you don't know this, gold cores will give you so much benefits. Let's say you're in a gunfight and you're using cover. Now, it's it's important to use cover in gunfights, especially if you're playing free room, because it's just not smart to stand out of the open and get shot. If you're using cover, while you're in cover, you're going to be healing at a rate much faster than your opponent or let's say you're using your dead eye a lot you're going to be getting that dead eye and have much more than the other player will if you're playing against someone this at, at a rate it, the other player may think wow he's cheating like it's it's going to be very very beneficial so go on once you've got your different herbs we're going to take a uh trek down to sanity because the best place to get um, big game meat, in my opinion, is by the gators above Sanity. Otherwise, you're like hunting bears and they're, they're pretty rare. So you want to go and try and find some gators. They're super easy to find and you can get the big game meat from them. 
a gold core for an entire day now one thing to note here is once you get that gold core if you start reloading and loading lobbies you are going to lose your core unfortunately the cores don't carry over like i mean it might be a little too op if they did carry over because one tonic would be super super powerful but it's good actually in fact great if you're going to be staying in a lobby playing if you're with a posse and you guys are just kind of owning the town and causing destruction the gold core is going to be widely beneficial now one way i really recommend you utilize this method is by enabling when you're in a posse enabling your ability card that increases posse damage when you're using deadeye essentially you can make your posse leaks stronger than any other posse if you guys eat the thyme infused big game meat before you get into a posse battle you will be nearly indestructible compared to your opponents you got more damage and then if you have the horseback addition as well you can be uh, you might even be able to one shot people if you're using a bolt action rifle horse little more please little more you can ride you you came from the lineage of the great horses don't be don't make a shame to yourself okay prove you are worth it another one bites the dust shit come on another one bites the dust all right i'm scared to ride in this water so i'm just gonna take the bridge not smart to go through the water gator infested water you'll get knocked off your horse and chomped down by a gator sweet we're right here so we're gonna pull up over here and like always it's very important when you get these kills that you get perfect kills if you don't get a perfect kill you're gonna be wasting your time because instead of three big game meets you're only gonna get excuse me one the breakfast is trying to escape we got a big gator here thank you sir Are no gators why are no gators next to me there's no land gators thing I look like I should be trekking through the bayou right now I'd be getting so dirty shirtless all up in this mud might as well keep this gator skin a little bit of money you can make here too folks come on horse come Idiot! I'm whistling for five times on the button. You're not coming. All right, we just need to find four gators because you max out at 10 gator meats. Now, I think this is a smaller one, so we're not going to actually get... There is one right here, right? Nope. Thought there was. There's one right here, though. Why are all these gators in this water? They normally are out here. Come on, let's tango, baby. Okay, we're back at the camp. Now, you can find campfires in certain cities. I know Valentine has one. I tried a couple in Blackwater, and they just didn't allow me to craft at them, so I'm not sure what's up with that. Either way, just get to a campfire that you can craft at, and when you go down to cook, you're going to notice some more options compared to what you've had in the past. So we have Thyme Big Game, and when we go over, we have Minty Big Game, Oregano Big Game, so we have these three options. You're just switching with the D-pad to go in between these options. Now, I'm going to cook right here. Let's get a minty big game because the health is going to be key. One thing to note, or not to note, but one thing that this is going to be really good for is I love getting into those um, fist fights. I love brawling with other players. It's so much fun. When I'm just playing for fun, I'll plug in my mic and I'll, I'll just go around asking people if they want a fist fight. If you infuse one of these with oregano and you get that gold stamina bar, when you fight someone who knows what they're doing, fights generally take your whole stamina bar when it's a good one. You're going to go through that stamina bar, but with the gold stamina core, you're going to have a massive edge over the other player. Virtually making you indestructible in boxing matches. When you're shooting, as long as you're smart and you use the gold core to your advantage, you're gonna. It, it's just so smart. And I haven't seen anyone use this. Now, I know I'm not, I'm not the first person to do this. I know that. But it's not a common thing other players are doing. And all you have to do is take a little bit and, you, and you're, you're set. You can just go and get yourself set up to 
have this advantage over every other player. It's a sick. It's sick. I want in. Let me get three of those oregano. And then what we're going to test is if we can stack all three effects on top of each other. Because full gold cores is something I haven't seen before. And we just want to witness it right here, don't we? So we've cooked those. I already have some of the Thymes one when I was just testing this out earlier. Now what you want to do in order to access these, we've talked about it before, but if you didn't see that video, we're going to do it right here. Open up your satchel by holding right on the D-pad and you're going to go into provisions. Now go to cooked big gamey and you see now you have all these different options. Now this is gold core four. This gold core will last you an entire day, an entire day, which I think comes out to, I'm not sure how long real time that is, but it's over an hour. I'm pretty sure. Oh, maybe it's it's maybe it's even like two. I'm not. It's around that period. But let's eat one of these gold health core for a day. Let's see what if we can just stack all three of them. Gold dead eye. Let's go, baby. And gold stamina. Boom. So ahead of every other player now look look let's just test how quickly this stamina bar comes back one thing is it's gonna drain a little bit slower not by much but the big part is when we stop and you take a breather look at that thing jump back to full you see how it works with the same bar it works the same way with the health bar this is gonna give you an edge off every other player you play against in rdr2 if you have a posse your dead eye will increase more. The way it works in online is it doesn't just replenish. It re it increases as you shoot your weapon. It will increase at a much much more significant rate when you have a gold core. Go out there, take a little bit to get yourself set up with the thyme, oregano, and mint, and give yourself and your posse an advantage over everyone else you're playing against. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Really appreciate all the recent support y'all have shown the channel. We just hit 200 subscribers today. Uh, big mark starting out from zero two months ago. We're gonna see how far we can take this thing. Thank you, appreciate you, and I hope to see you in a future video. Take care.